right, farm friends. So we are in town. We had to make our trip in today to get the materials and supplies for the chicken coop. The castle of coops that Jose is gonna build and I'm gonna assist with, if he'll let me help. <laughs> See? Oh, right. There he is, he's here. <laughs> So we are on the way back to the farm. We just um, finished up at Lowe's and I just wanna say, I am like so impressed always with people in our town. I think we like hit the town jackpot because people have been so, so nice to us and really welcoming. Um, everybody from, you know, local electric company and Yesterday when we were at the, we purchased the shotgun from a local store in town, which we feel like is really important, you know, rather than going to like Cabela's or something. Um, they were wonderful. Today at Lowe's, they helped, I mean, these two, well, two young guys helped us at first and then it ended up being like three young guys came over and helped us load all the material. Like, got it done super quickly. Um, I really didn't have to do anything. I just took care of like the admin side of the purchase and we used, uh, thanks to Jose's brain, we used the farm stamp and got the tax exemption because all of this is for um, the farm. So we were able to use that, which was really great. Um, and that's like one of the first times. So it saved us quite a bit in taxes, mm -hmm. um, which was really wonderful. So we got that set up with Lowe's. So tip, if you purchase from like Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you're purchasing your agricultural supplies in Tennessee um, and you have a farm stamp or you want to get a farm stamp, take a look at it. But it definitely has come in handy already. Definitely have. That's the input from Jose. Sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> definitely has. <laughs> friends Jose here so Nicole and I just got back a little while ago from getting out of the lumber for our chicken coop that I'm building um, she's gonna be helping on on and off right now she's taking care of a lot of stuff inside the house I think she's trying to set up her her office but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started out here got a lot to do um, got all the lumber here I got measurements that uh, I'm taking and I'll be cutting all my lumber and trying to build as much as I can um, inside the garage and shop here but uh, um, as you can see around here I got quite a, a mess and a lot of stuff so I'm gonna try to be working around this area here um, and then yeah just building as I go so I'm gonna get going with uh, doing some more measurements and, and then cutting as much lumber as I can and then starting to just trying to build and stack here um, I will give you a heads up I was this coop that I'm trying to build is inspired by Carolina Coops. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're pretty nice coops. We'll see how it turns out. I'm taking some shortcuts here and there. Uh, I'll talk to you about them as um, I get to them. But for right now, I'm gonna get back to it and try to build as much as I can.
All right, I took all the measurements and cut all my lumber for the base of the coop. And now, as you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together here on the floor and uh, yeah, assemble it, put it to the side and move on to the next piece. All right, folks got the base done right here now i'm gonna sheet it and then i'm gonna start on the the framing for the roof and the sides and then i'll put that together um my hope is again to get as much as i can right here um because it's kind of rainy and cold and wet outside so i want to build as much as i can right here and then uh tomorrow hopefully depending on the weather i could take the, out most of the structure or the structure in several parts and put it all together outside. Okay. I'll be using this baby, um, put it to work. So it'll be pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. 